Yo, what's up, Hockey Ghosters? What is going on? Just want to know, I just rolled out of bed, super tired, but today I'm just going to be giving a little bit of a review on the 2018 Stanley Cup playoffs. It's finally here, and the Flyers made it. They have just tied the series. I'm going to give my thoughts on all this on every series. I'm going to start in the West with L.A. and Vegas. I, I think we're all surprised that the Vegas Golden Knights have gotten this far, and they just made got a 2 nothing series lead on the Kings last night. Two teams did, Jets and the Kings. The Jets, I'm gonna, the Jets and Wild. I'm going I'm going to talk about next, but I'm just gonna say what LA needs to do to win this series. Mark Andre Fleury has given up one goal in two games. Shut him out in game one, only allowed one goal in game two, which was, I believe, deflected in front, and Eric Halla was the one who got the overtime goal. Halla. forgot who got the first goal. Oh, it was Alex Tuck on the wide shot from Jonathan Marcheso. So, what LA needs to do, they need to get offense from Andre Kopitar, Dustin Brown, guys like those, and they need to get defense from Alec Martinez and Dion Phaneuf, and the chances of LA winning the series now is pretty small, but heck, what do I know, but next series, Jets and Wild, oh, and forgot to talk about the Kings, oh, sorry, Jonathan Quick on his game right now, Jonathan Quick is... He's a great goalie. None of the goals he could really stop. The Shea Theodore shot that was tipped in by Pierre Edward Belmar, former flyer. It was not Theodore's goal. And game flat flash for flash forward. Fast forward to game two. And he gives up two goals. The hollow one can't stop. Well, he could maybe he could stop it. He was in a difficult position to stop Eric Halla. In the second, in in game one, Alec, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. Game two, Alex Tuck, the first goal. Of Jonathan Margeso shoots it wide. Perfect bounce. Alex Tuck deposits it to the back of the net. Can Quick really do anything? All right, Vegas. I have them winning this series in seven games. That is right, seven games. Game two, series two, Jets Wild. Patrick Laine is on a whole nother level. Jets have to win this series. Just took a 2-0 lead. It's like Minnesota wasn't even competing. Do I really even have to explain why Winnipeg will win this series? Shifley, Wheeler, Bufflin, Laine. It's just Stasny. It's just a great team, honestly. They've got a great power play, great penalty kill, great everything. They're just a great team. Next series, Nashville and Colorado. What? Colorado's not winning this series. Let me just say that. I mean, it's possible, but it most likely will not happen. So, yes, Col I have Nashville winning this series in five games. Philip Forsberg, Mike Fisher, Nick Bonino. Who else? Kevin Fiala, Ryan Johansson, Kyle Turris. Great. Great acquirement from the Ottawa Senators. They did have to give up Samuel Girard, who plays with Colorado. What a coincidence. I'm going to go to the East now, but yes, Nashville win, will win the series. Philip Forsberg had two goals in Game 1 for a 5-2 dub in Game 1. So they will win this series in five games. I'm going to fast forward to the East because I forgot the other West series, so... I'll, hopefully it comes to mind. Let's start with Tampa and New Jersey. Taylor Hall will win the MVP for sure, if unless Nathan McKinnon for the uh, for Colorado slows down and he just stops playing, which he did for the last two weeks of the season. And Colorado will lose that series because they're a one line team. Their third pairing is has Mark Alt on the third pairing. They're, they've got Gabriel Landeskog and Nathan McKinnon in trading Matt Duchesne. Didn't really hurt that much because they wanted him gone. He was they were tired of listening and listening to him complain all the time. Alright, next series 
Oh, Anaheim and San Jose. That's the one. San Jose wins game one with a 3 nothing win. Evander Kane scores twice. Evander, you were loved in Buffalo. I'm just kidding. I'm not even a Sabres fan. Why am I saying that? He was honestly hated in Buffalo. They couldn't stand him. I had to plug him out, so... It, they really hated Evander Kane, but he has been unreal for the San Jose Sharks, and I hope he does. I hope he does even better than he is doing right now. And Anaheim's a very veteran team, so I don't know how. I honestly don't know who's going to win this series, but it's a, such a hard series to predict. I will have San Jose taking this series in six games. Yes, six games. All right, let's talk about the now New Jersey and Tampa. Like I said, Taylor Hall, MVP. But look at the other side. Nico Heischer, first overall pick for New Jersey. That's great. Taylor Hall gets a center. Kyle Palmieri, Pavel Zaka. And on defense, Andy Green. Why did I even say Andy Green? But... But look at the other side. Steven Stamkos, Ryan McDonough, JT Miller has been great, Nikita Kucherov, Andre Vasilevsky in net. It's just a camp. I say this about honestly everyone, but they're a great team. They really are. So I have. Uh, it's not even that hard to predict. I will have Tampa winning this series in five or six games. Next series, Toronto and Boston. The series we've all been waiting for. Rematch of 2013. Marshawn versus Matthews. Marner versus Bergeron. Anderson versus Brask. This is just going to be a great series either way. I I have Boston winning this in seven games, but if Toronto wins, I'm not even going to feel bad for picking the Bees. So I will have Boston winning this series in seven games. Next series... Flyers and Penguins. Oh, Flyers fan, going to pick the Flyers. Let's get this over with as soon as possible. I will have the Pens winning this series in six or seven games. Do I even have to explain? Flyers are a great team. Travis Konechny, Nolan Patrick, Claude Giroux, Jake Voracek. You know, I'm a huge Flyers fan. Look at their defense. Ivan Provorov, Shane Gossespierre, Travis Sanheim, Robert Haig, Johnny Oduya. Hasn't only played one game with them, but still... A depth player, and what do I even have to say? I mean, Travis Konechny has been on a whole nother level playing Sean Couturier. How can I forget about Sean Couturier? But look at the Pittsburgh Penguins. Sidney Crosby, Jake Gensel, Brian Rust, Connor Sheary, Evgeny Malkin, Patrick Hornqvist, and Carl Haglin. Carl Haglin's even been good, everyone. Carl Haglin playing with Evgeny Malkin. Um... Look at their defense. Jamie Alexia, Chris Letang, Brian Dumoulin, Justin Schultz. There, there's no way the Pens can't win this series. I mean, no way the Flyers. And if the Flyers win, I'm not even going to feel any kind of bad for picking this because they're my favorite team. Next series, Columbus and Washington. What's the point of even making a bracket if you don't have that one simple playoff upset? And this is mine. Columbus beating Washington in six or seven games. Yes, I said it. Can Philip Grubauer lead them to a first round to a first round win against Columbus? Sergei Bobrovsky, a Vesna trophy candidate, but he also is trash in the playoffs. And he's just not a great playoff goalie. And what do I even have to say? Thomas Vanek, best Best trade deadline acquirement from Vancouver. Ian Cole, great acquirement. They got Mark Letestu. You've also got Mark Letestu, Brandon Dubinsky, you know, Cam Atkinson, Nick Felino. Guys like those are Seth Jones, Zach Wierenski. Guys like those will lead you to a playoff win, and that is why I have Columbus winning this series in seven games. And Washington... All it is is Ovechkin in the playoffs. It, guys like Oshie start to disappear. Kuznetsov starts to disappear. Holtby, Grubauer. Well, Grubauer's honestly never really played in the playoffs. 
but let's just say Holpe, Burakovsky, Kuznetsov, Oshi, guys like those start to fade away. Lars Eller, hopefully he can have a good playoffs. But Columbus will win this series, in that, and I just explained why. Because Thomas Vanek has been an absolute stud. He won't be the reason if they won. If they win, how could I forget about Artemi Panarin, Sonny Milano, guys like those young guys will help you. And that'll wrap it up for this video. I made like a holy long video, Jesus. But that'll wrap it up. I will do a round two, and let's see how far I get in these playoffs. Because who knows? Leave, leave in the comments if, if you loved it or absolutely hated it. Peace, guys.